A certain woman the service. They discover something in one of your breasts and you are afraid. But I stand by the authority of God tonight. I command it to disappear by fire. Robo Shenda Kayeba Senda. If you're that person, you know what I'm talking about. Just lay your hands in that place as I'm speaking right now. Robo Boshe. Kaya Sadaba. What have killed people in your family will not kill you. You will overcome. You will overcome. You will overcome. You will overcome. The victory of the Lord shall look at you. Every single person in this service today, Lord, touch their life. Lord, touch their life. Lord, touch their life. Lord, touch their life. What belongs to you shall be given to you. A certain person in this service, your establishment paper in this land, for you to stay where in this country, they have given so many people, you did it together, but you remain only you. Any power hanging what belongs to you, I command the hand to be paralyzed by fire. Yeah. What makes you come late in the journey of life is over. Yeah. Before the end of this year, you will stand on this order to testify. Yeah. Someone say, I will testify. Yeah. Shall be seated for a while. Praise God. The Lord is good. Tonight, I want to share with you what I call overcoming life wasters and destiny destroyers. Overcoming life wasters and destiny destroyers. When I was told I'm going to be ministering tonight, I stayed before the Lord to hear what He will want us to do. And God gave me this message. I've never preached it anywhere. It's fresh. Amen. And I want you to know that somebody tonight, what the enemy has planned for you will fail. Your amen is weak. One of the peculiarities of our ministry is that we are trying to do a little of balance. Life is mysterious. Life is what? Life is what? Life is mysterious. There are many things you can't understand about life. As you move inside life, begin to discover more. I pray for somebody here tonight. Life waster that have been positioned to waste your life, you will waste them. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. When you are coming to this planet, there is a purpose in the mind of God. That is something God wanted to come and achieve. You are not just coming to the planet to occupy the space. There is something for you. We call it destiny. What do you call it? Destiny. Come on, say destiny. destiny. Your gender is not a mistake. Are you with me? It is because of your destiny. I've shared my testimony with you several times. My mother wanted a girl after four boys. She was praying me to be a girl. But my destiny is to be a boy. Maybe if I'm married to a man, the man will allow me to be going up and down doing ministry like this. Am I right? Maybe Chai Biani will allow me to be going up and down doing ministry like this. So God has seen it that your destiny, you need to be a man. But my mother wanted me to be what? A girl. After four boys, what do you want? You want a girl. So there is what we call destiny. Come and say destiny. destiny. So we want to deal with destiny destroyer and life wasters. We want to deal with them. That's what the purpose of this meeting tonight. And listen to me after this meeting. Any power holding to your life, they will leave you. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. I have two scriptures to read tonight. Act 20, number 20, chapter 12. Act of Apostles chapter 12. I like to read from verse 1 to 8, Acts 12, the book of Acts. We want to act on the book of Acts tonight, chapter 12. We are looking at the accounts of Herod. Every Herod in your family, they will die this year. Amen. Now, by the time the Herod, the king stretched forth his hands to the first end of the church, and he killed James, the brother of John, with his sword, you will not be killed. 
Come on, say, I will not be killed. And because he saw that he pleased the Jews, so he pleased some enemy for somebody to die before his time, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleaving bread. And when he had apprehended him, any power that have captured you, you will be released tonight. He put him in prison and delivered him to four containers of soldiers to keep him. In ten and he started to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. May the voice of prayer never cease in your life. Amen. There are four voices that speak in the spiritual realm. There's a voice of worship. Come and say worship. There's a voice of prayer. Come and say prayer. There's a voice of sacrifice. Come and say sacrifice. There's a voice of what? Worship, prayer, sacrifice, and voice of what? What's number four? I will tell you on Sunday. <laughs> and behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And the chain fell off from his hands. Amen. Amen. I speak to you today. Life wasted, they will not waste your life. Amen. Lift up, put your hand on your chest, and say, My life shall not be wasted. Open your Bible to Isaiah chapter 54, verse 6, 7, 16. Isaiah 54, 16. Isaiah 54, 16. We are going to read it together. Isaiah 54, 16. One, three, go. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created, created the waster to destroy. So there are people created to waste people's life. Come and say, my life shall not be wasted. Let me start by saying that it's not every destiny carrier that get their destiny fulfilled. Some people carry destiny. Everybody that came to this planet, I say you have a purpose. Come and say, I have a purpose. Say, let me hear you. Your, your gender, your temperament, your your. Your location, where you are born, is a result of your destiny. It's not a mistake for you to be born in Ghana. It's not a mistake for you to be born in America. It's not a mistake for you to be born where you are born. It is part of your purpose in life. Are you with me? So there is something God has in mind. He calls it purpose. Come on, say purpose. But it's not everybody that live up to the time to fulfill their purpose. Some are even living, but they are not manifesting. But after tonight, you will live and you will manifest. Amen. That thing God brought you to this planet for you manifest it. Amen. You know, there are people that are supposed to be feeding nations, but they are still begging. Are you with me? There are people supposed to be doing well, but they are not doing well. There are power, the assignment is to waste life. Say, my life shall not be wasted. There are forces that are put in place to waste people's life. You see, the moment you have a destiny, you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. The devil doesn't fight people that are going nowhere. Have you ever seen somebody stop a madman from moving? Because he's already mad. Are you with me? I know you don't see mad people in this environment. Am I right? Eh, in this environment too? Okay, I thought they have a place they put them. Oh. <laughs> but you see, back in Africa where we come from, you see mad people. They even have a name for them. Am I right? Nobody stop a madman from moving because he's already mad. But when you carry destiny, power will be shouting. They will be you are a threat to them. Joseph had no problem with his brothers until he showed it. I had a dream. So your dream. He said, which I see. How your dream will come to pass. And one of them said, let's kill him. People that are planning to waste you, they shall be wasted. Amen. Your amen is weak. Oh. Amen. So when you carry destiny, you become the envy of people and they want to take you away by all means. There are witches and sorcerers, their work is to waste people's life. When we were growing up, they used to tell us in church that don't allow witches to kill you because if they do, they will come back to church and repent and they will make heaven. 
How many of you grew up and heard things like that before? So what I'm trying to say is that we want to deal with life wasted. Your life shall not be wasted. Yeah. There are people that they have wasted their life. They didn't allow them to, enjoy, to fulfill their purpose. Come on, say, I have a purpose. <laughs> say it again. Somebody say, I have a destiny. I have a purpose. The purpose of Joseph in the family is to preserve the rest of the people in the time of his family. Joseph was the first one that went to America. Are you with me? And he was working in the White House. And he told the, the king of the White House that I have a brothers. I want a visa for them. I want them to be given a green card. So when family was ravaging where he come from, he brought all them to Egypt, which is an America of that time. Are you with me? We are, we are running to when there, is, when there is famine, when there is recession, when things are not working in the country, they, they run there. And Joseph was I've been positioned by God that in case when these people will have problems, you are the one that will save them. Thank God they did not kill him. They will all be perished in that land. When destiny of people are not fulfilled, many lives will go through problems. Are you with me? Destiny attracts beauty and it attracts threats. When you carry destiny, you attract helper and you attract attackers. Are you with me? Have you ever, I mean, I saw a commercial. A beautiful lady was going on the road. And people that are driving, they were, they were, they were not able to. Some of them, are, they, they are getting accidents because of the beauty. Because they, some beauty can attract. Are you with me? Have you seen beauty, a lady so beautiful that is, people say, wow. Come and say, wow. wow. That's the way destiny is. Destiny of people attract helpers. They attract attackers. I pray for you. Your destiny will speak. Yeah. When the star of Jesus appeared, wise men, they came and they were looking for that star. But Herod also, when he heard about it, he said, every child from two years downwards should be killed. That's what destiny is all about. There are some of you today, because of your destiny, they are fighting you. But in the place of prayer, you will overcome them. Amen. Come on, say, I will overcome them. Come on, say, I will overcome them. Say, my life shall not be wasted. Now, from the story we recognize an account of Herod. In every family, there are Herod. In every job place, there are every nation, there are Herod. Herod the king stretched for his hands to vest certain in the church, to attack people in the church. And he was able to kill James. James was not able to fulfill his destiny because they wasted their life. Come and say, my life shall not be wasted. Say, let me hear you. Say, let me hear you. You know, the will of God is for you to live long. Psalm 91 verse 15. With long life. Will you do what? Longevity is in our DNA. We're supposed to live long. Tell your neighbor, say, I will live long. Prophesy to your life, say, I will live long. John 10, there's a thief coming to steal, to kill, to destroy, but I've come to give you life. And not just a life, but an abundant life. So anything that is threatening your life is not from God. Are you with me? Jesus died at 33 and a half years. And he did not die young because he resurrected again. He died for a purpose. Am I right? And he came back to life to tell you that we have power over death. If they are looking for you to kill you from your hometown, they will die. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. This message may not be for everybody, but I'm talking to somebody. Any attack, any threat you are having, you are going through right now, I command the arrow to return to sender. Amen. I say the arrow will return to sender. Amen. There are two reasons why we must deal with life wasters. Number one, whatever can cut short your life will cut short your destiny. Are you with me? Because when your destiny is cut short, your life is cut short, destiny will not be fulfilled. And there is a place for you in this phase of the earth. There is a, there is a place you must occupy. If you don't occupy, nobody will occupy it. There is a place for you. you know there are houses you must dwell. There are cars you must drive. There are, there are husbands you must marry. There are wives you must marry. Are you with me? 
some women didn't get married today because their husband to be have been killed. Are you with me? That's what happened. So that's why we must pray against life wasters. Come and say life wasters. So let me hear you. Come and say my life shall not be wasted. A lot of time the devil uses people in the same family to kill each other. The first murderer in the Bible, what is his name? Cain. They came from the same womb. And a demon, a spirit of jealousy and envy enter him and say, I'm going to kill you. And he killed Abel. What baffled me is not that Abel died. What baffled me is that his voice is, is the voice of the blood was now crying after death. Where is the voice of the blood before he died? It was crying, Avenger. Tonight, God will avenge your enemy. Yeah. So there is something a best supposed to have. A best supposed to be teaching people how, to your, how your gift can be acceptable before God. That is ministry. He's supposed to be telling people, you want your gift to be acceptable before God? Let me explain to you. That's the lecture is supposed to be going everywhere, but they kill him. They didn't allow him to achieve it. Anybody that wants to kill you, not to achieve your destiny, the Lord will kill them. Amen. So God has to bring seeds back to, to, to replace Abel. Because his place was missing. When people's lives are cut short, they cannot fulfill their destiny. I pray for you today. Anybody looking for your life, they will fail. Amen. Lift up your hands. Anybody looking for my life? To cut my life short. Let the Lord cut them short. Let the Lord cut them short. Say, I turn my hand to be a sword. And I cut them into pieces. Begin to turn into prayer. Cut them right now. Anybody looking for my life? They shall be cut into pieces. Robo Shenda. Robo Shenda. Anybody plant in the family to kill you, they shall die. They shall die. Anybody, your bloodline assigned to waste your life, I neutralize their power. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, the devil always uses people that you are close to. Amen. When Jesus needs to be introduced to the enemy, who did the devil use? Huh? Bible scholar told us Judas and Jesus, they are related. And if you, if you don't know that, it's a treasurer. And anybody that is a treasurer of organization is very close to the boss. Am I right? They are can report directly to the boss. Amen? He's in charge of the boss, but he's the one that betrayed Jesus. Cain killed Abel, his brother. They are eating from the same bowl. He's still killing. I was watching TV in Africa one day, and a woman stabbed her husband to death. Are you with me? We have seen men killing their wife, but now why are not killing husband? The man will have lived long if he never, he never married. Am I right? If a prophet tell him, don't get married so that you can live long, he say, prophet, go and sit down. I find my, 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 my love, the love of my life. But he's the mother of his life. Are you with me? Is somebody hearing me now? Can I pray for you today that anybody that has been assigned to kill you, you will overcome it. Amen. Somebody say, I shall not die. I shall not die. Say, I will live. Now, Herod killed James, the brother of John. He killed him with sword. That's what the Bible says. Don't forget, James and John, they are son of Sebede. They came to Jesus. Am I right? Their mother was related to Jesus. And when Jesus, in Mark 3, he said they are the son of thunder. But all the thundering anointing was cannot save him from death. The question, why should God allow a Christian to be killed? Because they are giving you, giving Christian power to fight. So if you don't fight, you are on your own. Come and say, I will fight tonight. So let me hear you. So let me hear you. Herod wasted him. Come and say, my life shall not be wasted. So let me hear you. 
Sickness will not waste me. Attack will not waste me. Say, my life shall not be wasted. My life shall not be wasted. Don't forget, I have created wasters to destroy. That's their own job. So there are wasters. But it depends on whether you allow them to waste you. That's what this meeting is called. I don't know the attack they have prepared for you, but you overcome it. Amen. Come on, say, I will overcome it. Say, a Muslim work cannot be wasted. Say, let me hear you. Say, I shall not be wasted. You know why you must not be wasted? Your destiny and your existence had value to this world and to people around you. Amen? Some of you, your life would have been better if your parents did not die when they died. Some of you, your existence today because of your senior brother, your mother, your father. Because every life is connected to every life. We are all connected to each other. Am I right? Are you with me? Maybe without me, maybe only ghost Christians that won't come to pass. Am I right? Who knows? So that is your destiny for female is not just because of you. Amen? Amen? Some of you, your children are enjoying now because you have labored for them. Am I right? Somebody hearing me now? Some of you labor to get to this country. Today you have a child and it's an American citizen. He or she never know I become American citizen. If you have been killed that time, where would the child be? That's why you must fulfill your destiny. Come and say, I will fulfill my destiny. There are people today who are supposed to be discovering new things, but they have been killed. You will not be killed. Amen. Genesis 37, verse 18. You know, the Joseph brother, they say, let us see how a dream will come to pass. So there are dreams they don't want to come to pass. There is a destiny in your hand. You are not just in this country just to be a man. There is something God has in mind. There's a purpose concerning your life. You fulfill that purpose. Oh. Yeah. Say, I will fulfill my purpose. I will fulfill my purpose. I will fulfill my purpose. There are three forces that have been sent. There are many forces that have been sent to waste people's lives. But I'm going to tell you three tonight. And we're going to pray about them. Amen. My assignment is that you must destroy life wasters and destiny destroyers. Amen? Amen. You will fulfill your destiny. Amen. Tell nobody, say, I am, this. I am more than this. Say, my best is yet to come. Yet. Look at the neighbor, look at them and say, my best is yet to come. Yes. Say, I am more than this. I, than this. I, will I will live to fulfill my destiny. I will live to enjoy my life. I will live to add value to my generation. I have a purpose. Say, I have a purpose. Say, I have a purpose. Say, I have a purpose. Stop beating yourself. You are the best God has made. Are you with me? Anybody taller than you is too tall. Stop wearing heels to show them I want to be tall. And I'm not talking to anybody. And I'm not looking at anybody's side. Are you with me? Yes, Stop look, trying to be lighter in your skin. Your dark skin is what God needs to fulfill your destiny. Are you with me? Are you with me? Don't pity yourself because you are big. Somebody wants you big. And your destiny knows that you need to be big. Are you with me? Is somebody hearing me now? Like yourself. Enjoy yourself. Tell them to say, I like myself. Tell them to say, I like myself. A lot of people don't like themselves. They, they apologize for the way they look. That's why when you give them a compliment, they can't take it. It's a sign of low self-esteem. I like your shirt. Hey, it's not expensive. Bro. It's Walmart I bought it. Walmart I bought it. Instead of saying, thank you. You look good. Thank you. You are so pretty. Thank you. Are you with me? But when you have low service, they say you are pretty. Say, really? <laughs> and my stomach is big. Oh. Who, who told you that that is not what you need to fulfill your destiny? 
Amen. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Everybody cannot be slim. The world will not be good. Are you with me? Some people need to be big. Some people need to be slim. Some people need to be short. Some people need to be tall. Are you with me? Have you discovered tall men like small people? Eh? Carry go. <laughs> I don't know why you have noticed that. Have you noticed that the light skinned people like the dark people? Are you with me? That's the way it is. So stop apologizing for the way you look. Come on, say I'm the best. Look at everybody say, I am the best. I like myself. Because God designed me like this. Amen. That's the way you are. Until you see yourself like that, you will just be apologizing. Because there is a purpose by the way you are. The way you think, there is a purpose for it. Amen. The way you see life, there is a purpose for it. The way you understand it, there is a purpose for it. Amen. I may not be good in mathematics, but I can talk. Are you with me? I may not know how to calculate, but I can do other things. If everybody's an engineer, who is going to be a doctor? Are you with me? Who's going to be a broadcaster? Amen. Amen. I pray for you today. You fulfill your purpose. Amen. I see something great coming out of your life. Amen. I see you better than this. Amen. Something great is coming out of your life. Amen. Come and say something great. It's about to happen in my life. Say, I am the best that the Lord has made. I am the best. I was talking to one of my guys in church one day. I said, you, you, you appear a bit shy. He said, sir, that's my problem. I said, there's a reason for it. Amen? He said, I don't know how to relate with you. I don't know how to miss easily. I said, that's, everybody cannot be a sanguine. I'm be smiling to everybody <laughs> everywhere. No, I mean, don't, some people have to be quiet. Praise God. Are you with me? Is somebody hearing me now? Come and say, I'm the best. So your destiny, you must fulfill it. You will enter where God wants you to enter. You will become what God wants you to become. Somebody is coming for you. Come and say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. I say, somebody is coming for you. Somebody needs your gifts. Somebody like the way you are. Come on, say I'm the best. Come on, say I'm the best. Come on, say I'm the best. Have you accepted yourself tonight? Do you believe in yourself now? Why don't you appreciate God by clapping your hands? Because you like yourself. You are the best. Come on, say I'm the best. Come on, say I'm the best. Come on, say I'm the best. Let's look at three forces that waste people's life. Number one is affliction and sickness. It's a force that wastes people's life. Sickness. Sickness has no respect for age. I've seen 27 year old boy, a graduate of Covenant University, the two kidney pack up. I think kidney pack up because you have used it for a long time. Sickness has no respect for age. I've seen a 10 year old boy die of cancer. Sickness has no respect for location. Are you with me? People can be sick because they, not because they live in Africa. They are even living in America where they have the best med, medical access to medical services. But they are still sick. Sickness has no place for class. It has no respect for class. Rich and poor can be sick. Are you with me? But there is a word for you. Matthew 8, 17. He himself took our infirmity. I stand on that word. If you are sick tonight, sickness is disappearing by fire. Yeah. You know, when the word has gone ahead of you, the devil is just joking. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. There's a word for you. He himself took. It's a part participle. He took it. He's not trying to take it. He has taken away your sickness before he ever come. Are you with me? So that sickness has no power to stay there. So I command signal to disappear by fire. Amen. Your amen is weak. 
in John 11, Lazarus was sick. And the sick man was not supposed to kill him, but he still died. Thank God for Jesus. Are you with me? Sickness can kill. Sickness can waste people's life. Your life shall not be wasted. There are sick doctors. They can't treat people themselves. There are sick engineers. There are sick pastors. People that are supposed to be solving problems. Sickness don't allow them. You are not permitted to die by sickness. Say, I shall not die by sickness. Say, let me hear you. You know why? There's a word and there's a blood of Jesus. Come and say the blood. One of the voice in the spirit is the blood. Are you with me? The blood. Come and say the blood. They say the blood of your brother Abel is crying in the spirits. So when the blood of Jesus is on the altar crying, and there is a word for you, ah, sickness cannot stay in your body. So I declare you here tonight. I declare you here tonight. Every root of affliction in your life be uprooted by fire. Say, I am healed. If you are sick, say, I am healed. Say, let me hear you. Say, you sickness. Address, say, you sickness. You have no place in my body. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of my body. I am here tonight. I am here tonight. I am here tonight. He himself took my infirmity away. Amen. You know, when you quote the word, the devil is run away. He can't stand the word of God. Amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 2, verse 25 to 27. Philippians chapter 2, verse 25 to 27. Paul was writing in, to Philippians. He mentioned a man called Epaphroditus. Let's read that scripture. For indeed, he was sick. 25. Look at 25. 25 to 27. 225. 225. Start from 25. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor, a fellow soldier, but your messenger, he that ministered to my wants, verse 27, 26, for he long after you all was full of evidence, because she had heard that he had been sick, verse 27, for indeed he was sick not unto death, but God had mercy on him. I pray God will have mercy on you. Sickness will not kill you. Come and say, I receive it. Say, by mercy of God, I will overcome every sickness. Listen to me. Sickness has power to waste people's life. Devil does not want people to have good health. But today, I declare you having good health. Your health shall be good. Your amen is weak. So it's important to go for your checkup. Are you with me? I grew up in a church we use faith. Come and say faith. But if your faith level hasn't got to the level of exercising faith, go and see a doctor. Amen? Amen. I've seen people die. They say, I'm faithing it, faithing it. And their faith is killing them. Instead of submitting to a doctor and let them check you. Amen? Amen. Are you with me? It's worse in Africa. People don't even go to hospital until they are dying. They don't. Some years back, I, was, I went to a doctor for a checkup, and a member of the church called me that time. was calling, calling. I said, I'm in the hospital. I'm going to call. He said, Pastor, what happened? Hey, any problem? Because whenever they hear hospital, it's only those that are dying that goes there. But really, you should go and do your checkup. Are you with me? Is somebody hearing me now? He took your infirmity, but you must fight. You must not be negligence. I've seen where negligence of health kill people. Is somebody hearing me now? Because one of the forces that waste people's life is what? Sickness and affliction. So tonight, I command sickness to disappear from you. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. Say sickness. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord. Amen. My body amen. is not your temple. Amen. It's the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Therefore, I refuse to be sick. Amen. Amen. I don't know whether I'm ministering to somebody here tonight. 
Number two, for, are you with me? Yes, sir. That waste people's life is the spirit of error. What do I call it? Error. Any error prepared for you this year, we scatter it. Yes. Professional error, we scatter it. Yes. Many years ago, one of my church members went for a surgery in an hospital in a place called Maryland in Lagos, and they forgot one of the instruments in his stomach. Are you with me? Yes. Just feeling pain. Now went to Germany and they didn't check. They forgot something inside the error. Come and say error. Yes. Come and say error. Yes. There are pilot pilot error has crashed the plane before. So when I'm flying, I will say, Lord, I take over error. No pilot error. Are you with me? Yes. Driver can commit error. They can give people poison and they call it medication. Are you with me? Error. Come and say error. error. Instead of pressing brake, you are pressing gas. Error. Have I mean, some, you? Some motor accidents because of mistake. Error. Some of you have been driving and we slept. I've never slept inside driving before. I'm number one. After vigil. So many years ago, inside B2. I was driving. Everybody wants to and I've slept. I just see, boom! I just have slept. I just, ah! we do, we die. <laughs> error. No error will kill you. Your amen is weak, oh. Error is something you must not commit. There are professional error. There are marital error. You will not marry your enemy. Amen. You will not marry your enemy. Amen. I told you a woman kill her husband. The man also kill her husband. Because his wife. He's still waiting to be executed. Are you with me? People have killed themselves. Marital error. Are you with me tonight? Are you with me tonight? Yes, I was talking with a lady recently. Her husband always beat her every time. And she does not want to tell anybody. She told me, I said, hey, and you are staying there. You will die. Let me help you to pack your load out of the place. <laughs> it's true now. Because when she died now, I say, hey, I should die. Huh? I say, good sister. Which good sister? <laughs> Foolish sister. <laughs> Marital error. Are you with me? Yeah. Is somebody hearing me now? Yes, Don't say, Pastor, I've given all access to you and divorce. Over divorce, then. <laughs> it's not me that sent you. You are your own. <laughs> but I'm saying there are marital error. Are you with me? There are professional error. I command you will not commit error. Amen. You will not commit error. Amen. You will not commit error. Amen. In Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 4 to 7, I didn't know that God did not kill Usa. Error. Error killed him. That was, I was, I was, I rejected that scripture. And they brought it out of the house of Abina, which is at Gibeah. Accompany the ark of God. And Hayu went before the ark. Verse 5. Verse 5. Media. You follow me here again here. <laughs> and David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord on all manners of instrument made of firewood, even on the harps and such. Go to verse 7. Go to verse 7. And when they came to Nakon, Go to, verse, go to verse 6. Look at verse 6. Okay, verse 7. And the anger of the Lord, when they came, let me, go, let me do 6 to 7. Let me do 6 and 7 together. And when they came to Nacon threshing floor, Usar put forth his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for oxen shook it. Verse 7. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Usar, and God smote him there for what? <laughs> it was his error. Error kill him, not God. God allow him to die because of error. Error that you commit can kill you, not God that kill you. 
Can I pray against error in your life? No error in your life. Every error you will commit that will take your life, we scatter it. 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 Error can kill people. It can waste people's life. Some people have been a victim of somebody's error. Are you with me? We have a chief aviation officer in our church. And his son is a pilot. So anytime we are talking, I, will, I was asking the young man. Because I know how this boy was in the youth church or teen church. And I went to pilot school and they start flying. And they say he's the youngest pilot of that time in Nigeria. So I was asking him, you small boy, I know you. How do you fly an aeroplane? He said, very easy. Ah. <laughs> you also say, ah, like me. <laughs> Up to now, when I'm flying, because I don't know how you work, so I still pray, Lord, take over. <laughs> Bishop David Abiyo said, he was flying one day from Kaduna to Lagos with somebody. Yes, the moment they entered the aircraft, the person started praying. Raba keroboshenda, iraba. Is every food they bring? The man never eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it was more of a prayer of fear. <laughs> because when you see the, how the aircraft would lift, am I right? Yeah. Hey, sometimes when they go to two million, they will be shaking like this, and you come park upstairs. <laughs> no parking. <laughs> You were head of Bishop Oyedepo delivery from a plane crash. Are you with me? Then they got to the Mediterranean Sea. The plane was coming down. They would have perished inside the sea. It was coming. Suddenly, the pilot just changed from autopilot to manual. If he has committed error, they would have died. Every error prepared for you. I scatter it by fire. No error for you this year. Amen. No error for you this year. Amen. No driving error. Amen. No pilot error. Amen. No medication error. Amen. No doctor's error. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There's an error of Eli. Eli's children. There's a parental error that have brought scores on the seed. Come and say error. error. Come and say error. error. Any error they have prepared for you, you will overcome. Amen. You will overcome. Amen. You will overcome. Amen. You will overcome. Amen. A woman brought a last daughter who wanted to get married to me not too long. He said, I have four children. And two of them, the first two got married to a wrong person and they have divorced. The third one in marriage right now, is, the marriage is shaking. This is one that I want to get married. Pastor, help us check whether it's not an error to marry this one. Praise God. Marital error is bad. Oh. Every single, I pray for you, you will marry right. If you're in a relationship that, we, that is an error, my God will scatter it. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. If you are dating anybody or cutting anybody that's an error, the Lord will scatter it. Amen. Even though you will cry, your cry is better now than cry later. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, Somebody hearing me now? Yes, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Error. You know when you marry wrong, it means you are finished. But when you marry right, it means you are complete. But when you marry wrong, you completely finished. <laughs> oh, finish the year, Abby. Praise God. If you marry right, you are complete, Abby. But when you marry wrong, you are finished. When you marry your enemy, you are completely finished. That's what it means. Praise God. No error for you. Amen. Don't you think it's a prayer point everybody should pray every day? Yes, 
Lord, there is no error as I'm going out today. Because they say to her is human. Are you with me? Number three thing that wastes destiny and life. Are you with me? Is attack of Satan. Attacks. In the act of Apostle 28, the Bible says, as Peter, Paul was being delivered from shipwreck, serpent attacking. Any attack you are going through, I command the arrow to return to sender. Yeah. We want to pray against attack in this service. Attack over your health. Attack over your life. Back to sender. Come and say back to sender. Back to sender. Every decision in that kingdom to attack you, you will attack them back. Your amen is we go. Amen. God must hear the voice of your prayer. Amen. Are you with me? Attack and waste people's life. Come and say attack. attack. Spiritual attack and waste people's life. So people don't believe in spiritual attack. Even Muslims don't believe it. Islam. If anybody died, they say, well, that's the way God wants it. Praise God. And I've met Christians who don't believe in attack. Say, I'm a child of God. I cannot be attacked. They didn't read Bible well. Praise God. I know you are a child of God. But the level of the anointing you carry can determine the arrow that come to you. Come and say, I will survive it. Come and say, I will survive it. It's not everybody that suffer with bite that will be alive. But there's something Paul carried. That when Satan attacked, they thought he's dead, but they just, they just shake it off. You will shake off sickness in this service. Yeah. Are you with me tonight? Some people have survived cancer. Am I right? And some people have died with it. Amen? Amen. Do not die child bearing as kids on people. Are you with me? Five brothers of pressure as kids on people. Attack. Come and say attack. attack. Come and say Attack. You will not be attacked. Amen. Any attack on your life, to waste your life and destiny, I scatter it. Amen. I scatter it tonight. Amen. Rise up on your feet. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed tonight? Yes. Are you blessed tonight? Yes. The word of God is powerful. Yoke have been destroyed in this service. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Anything they are planted in your life to stop your glory. In this service tonight, my God will approach it. My God will approach it. My God will approach it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Say, my life shall not be wasted. Open your mouth and declare. My life shall not be wasted. Pray in the name of Jesus. My life shall not be wasted. My destiny shall not be wasted. Robo Shenda. Robo Shen. Yabake Robo Shenda. I shall fulfill my destiny. I shall fulfill my life. I must fulfill my life. Therefore, my life shall not be wasted. My life shall not be wasted. My life shall not be wasted. In Jesus' name we pray. Say a better amen. amen. Say a better amen. amen. Say my destiny, my destiny. manifest now. My destiny, my destiny. manifest now. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Let my destiny manifest. I shall fulfill my destiny. Robo Boshenda. Yabake Sada. My destiny shall not be wasted. My destiny shall not be wasted. My destiny shall not be wasted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say better, amen. amen. Hold the prayer partner. I want to pray. This is solution night. Amen. amen. What do we do in solution night? 
We pray. Say any arrow of sickness in this body jump out by fire. Begin to pray for that person now. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of sickness. Jump out. Jump out. Are you praying or you are playing? Yabake. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of sickness. Jump out of your life. Jump out. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of sickness. Robobo. Yabake. Iraba Senda. Yabake Robo Shenda. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of sickness. Jump out of my life. Jump out. Arrow of sickness. Attack from home. Against your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Pick another person. Move, move. Pick another person. Change your partner. Shake him whether he's alive. Shake him. Is he alive? Amen. Say, I command. Arrow of sickness. Over your life. Begin to jump out now. Begin to pray for that person now. I command the arrow of sickness. Let it jump out of your life. Arrow of sickness. Sickness cannot stay in your body. Disease will disappear by fire. Robobo. Yabake. Robo Shay Yabake Jump out of my life. Sickness disappear from my body. Robobo Yabake Robobo Shenda Robobo Shenda. Sickness disappear from my body. Disease vanish from my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. If you are sick in any part of the body, lay your hands there. Robo Shenda Kaye. Raba Robo Shenda. If you are feeling any pain in any part of your body, if doctor diagnose anything in your system, I'd like you to come forward. I want to pray for you tonight. God wants to heal somebody in this service today. God wants to heal somebody in this service today. Thank you, Father. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer you send your word you send your word i heal my disease you are the lord my healer you are the lord you are the lord the lord the lord you Send your word. You send your word. You send your word. And he might be saying, You might be saying, You are the Lord. You are the Lord. My dear. Thank you. In your presence, there is peace. Just lay your hand when you think you are sick. Oh, I want to lay hands on your head. I'm coming. It's glowing. It's glowing.
Lord. There is healing in your name. Almighty Father. There's a spirit of error. Jump out of my life. Open your mind and begin to pray. Error. Spirit of error. Every error prepare for me. Driving error. Pilot error. Any error I will be involved. I can't sue it tonight. I can't sue it tonight. I can't sue it tonight. Yes, Lord. Robo Shenda Rabba Kerobo say Jesus Jesus Robo Boshenda Yaba Kerobo say Robo Bobo say In Jesus they will pray Say better Amen no error for you this year. Thank you, Father. We want to stand against any attack. Say every arrow fired into my life. Jump out. Back to sender. Arrow on my head. Come out. Back to sender. On my neck. Come out. Back to sender. On my chest. Come out. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Robo Bo say. Every arrow. Robo Bo Shenda. Jesus. Jesus. Robo Bo. Yaba Kerobo Shenda. Robobo Senda. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Say power, power. to make money fall upon my life. All my money. Hanging everywhere. As I clap my hands, I invite them my money. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. All my money hanging everywhere. I drop it. I draw my money. I draw it. Robo Boshe. Yaba Kesada. Be Robo Boshe. Robo Shenda Kaye. Yaba Kerobo Shenda. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Robo Bo say, Ira Bake, Robo Bo Shenda. In Jesus' name we pray.
Thank you, Father. Place your two on your head. I want to bless you. Thank you, Lord. Glorify your name in all the earth. Yes, Lord. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Father, we love you. I want to pray for somebody you are doing a course that you are almost running up but the enemy has planned to frustrate that end of that course to either make you get delayed or make you have some problem if you are that person you know what I'm talking about please come I want to pray for you tonight thank you Jesus Rabba Kelobo Senda Robo Shea Yaba Kesada. No matter what they are planned, you will overcome. We are standing on holy ground. Let it flow. And I know the Of love, I will finish one. I try to agree. Take it, my dear. You will finish one. Receive grace to finish one. You will finish one. Receive. You will finish one. Thank you, Father. Head, I want to bless you. Your destiny shall not be wasted. Your life shall not be wasted. Any arrow from home back to sender. 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 You will overcome. You will overcome. You will overcome. I'd like to pray for that sister that put something on the neck like green at the back of somebody wearing red. Did somebody that uh, wear red is packing you. I don't know that person. You wear white, but you put something green. I saw somebody send the arrow to you from a, from a place. As I, pray, as I was ministering, I was seeing it. I wanted to resist to pray for you. God said, pray for her. Any arrow from somewhere, you, you will overcome. 
you will overcome. Robo senda kayeva she. Okay, you are the one. I didn't know. I wasn't seen very far. Robo shenda. Can I have the oil? Bring the oil. I want to anoint you. Somebody in your family that need to die, we die. Amen. There are things you don't want you to accomplish in this world. Even with a bright destiny, they don't want it to happen. I put the grace of God upon you. Amen. Any arrow from afar or back to sender. Amen. Let the power come to you now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Shh. Holy Ghost, let your power flow upon her. You will overcome. Amen. Somebody place your two hands on your head and ministry right now. The power of God is here tonight. Robo Shenda Kaye. Rabba say, he Robo Shenda. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, if they bill you for a surgery, they plan you to do a surgery. And in the stomach region or somewhere, I want to come forward. I want to pray for you. Don't feel, don't feel shy. Come, anybody like that here? Yes, I saw it. Thank you, Father. Robo Shenda Kaye, Iraba Senda. Place your hand. Yes, Lord, I feel the anointing here. Robo Shenda Kaye, Ye Robo Shenda. The power of God is coming on you right now. The power of God is coming on you right now. I release the power, let it flow. Take it out. Rosa, Rosa, let the anointing of the gold. I challenge spirits, I challenge kingdom. Rosa, let the power of God come on you right now. A release. Take it now. I release the power of God on you. Let it flow. Take it now. Thank you, Father. I release the power of God on you. Let it hit the power. Receive. You are here. Please don't turn your head. Glorify your name in all the earth. Let it flow. Glorify your name, Lord. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name in all the earth. Father, we love you. I speak grace to your life. Amen. You will feel your destiny. Amen. You will feel your purpose. Amen. Every good thing God has designed for you, you will fulfill it. Amen. 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 I see you like making a big plantation. And I saw some animals inside that plantation making it and destroying it i speak to you any business you are trying to build and there are attacks and wrong people over it i scatter it amen Shinda. bring your two hands put it together i release grace grace the hand of a blessed is your hand. Take it by the anointing. Robo shenda kaye base. Robo bo she kaya. Ira basenda. Ira bo shenda. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'd like to say. Thank you. 
I saw an angel taking anchor from people's hands. You have been struggling to make money or get a very good job to make money. Come forward, I want to pray for you. Anchor in your hand is a sign that you can make money and you must make money. Come, come, come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This hand will make money. This hand will make money. I'm going to anoint your hands. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. For the grace. For the grace that you have given. Look at you, say these hands. Say these hands. You are destined to make money. Any attack on my hands break. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Robo Shenda. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I put grace in your hands. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand. Go and make money. I put grace in your hand, go and make money. I put grace in your hand, go and make money. I put grace in your hand, go and make money. I put grace in your hand, go and make money. Oh, thank you. your two hand ahead and don't ask what you desire. I'd like to pray for that sister. Come. Sister. That, yes. Come. As I was praying for you, I see an idol in your father's house. They worship some idol. I don't know how you are aware. There's a particular idol they worship and I saw that spirit follow you everywhere you go. Every time you try to take a step, the thing will draw you back. Maritally, financially, and otherwise. Even you're settling down in this country, that's the spirit behind it. Today, 
I break that power. Loose ah. Loose ah. Spirit from your father's house. Loose ah. Loose ah. Loose ah. I break that yoke. Loose ah. Loose ah. I separate you from them. You see the anointing of the gold to break the yoke. Break that yoke. Break that yoke. Break that yoke. Break that yoke. You will overcome. You will overcome. You will overcome. Take it down. Fire is passing through you, right? Take it. Take it. Take it. Where go? Go. Go. I put the fire in your hand. And you pass it your sister. Now take it down. Take it down. Holy Ghost. Everybody lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Yaba ke robo shenda. Robo bo she. Yaba ke sada. He robo shenda. Favor. Beyond your expectation. Let it fall upon your hands. Amen. You will enjoy favor. Amen. Receive favor. I receive it. Say I receive it. I receive it. Receive favor. I receive it. Favor beyond your age. Yes, Lord. I receive it. Beyond your connection. I receive it. Beyond your qualification. I receive it. Receive it. I receive it. The Lord will qualify you. Amen. The Lord will qualify you. Amen. The Lord will qualify you. Amen. The level you are not qualified for, God will put you there. Amen. Receive favor. I receive it. Receive favor. I receive it. Receive favor. I receive it. What you have been struggling to achieve for a long time, it shall be easy now. Amen. 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 It shall be easy now. It shall be easy now. It shall be easy now. Amen. 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 There's a woman here, you always see yourself among dead people in your family. You are afraid. Come, I want to pray for you. You see yourself among dead people in your family. Always see yourself among dead people. For that person, please come. You cannot die. You will leave. You will leave. Lift up your hands. I release grace. You will leave. You will not die. 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 You will not you will leave, you will not die. I separate you from the dead. Take and the anointing will go. Power belongs to you. Thank you, Lord. Why don't wave your hand to Jesus? Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Let great things happen for me. Before the end of this year. Before the end of this year. What belongs to me. What belongs to me. Shall be given to me. Shall be given to me. What belongs to me. Shall be given to me. Shall be given to me. What belongs to me. What belongs to me. Shall be given to me. Shall be given to me. What belongs to me. What belongs to me. Shall be given to me. Shall be given to me. What belongs to me. What belongs to me. Shall be given to me. Shall be given to me. I receive. I receive. My portion. My portion. Of inheritance. Of inheritance. I receive. I receive. My portion. My portion. Of blessing. Of blessing. What belongs to me. What belongs to me. Shall be given to me. Shall be given to me. Amen. Amen. Give Jesus a clap of it. You may be seated. Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed tonight? Wave your hand to Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, for the blessing I have received. Say thank you, Jesus, for the blessing. Amen.